Hello everyone! Today I am going to make a video presentation about the project of budget proposal. We will be planning to have a get-together with my relatives once quarantine restrictions will be eased. Our plan is to serve banana bread, chocolate chip cookies, and sugar cookies. To feed 30 people, we have three recipe cards. Here for banana bread, chocolate chip cookies, and sugar cookies. Each recipe serves 30 people. These are the three recipe cards that I rewrote. Banana bread. 9 bananas, 1 cup melted butter, 2 cups sugar, 3 eggs, 2 and 1 4 teaspoon vanilla, 1 and 1 half teaspoon baking soda, and 4 and 1 half cups flour. Chocolate chip cookies, 1 and 1 4 cups flour, 1 half teaspoon baking soda, 3 8 teaspoon salt, 1 half cup butter, 3 8 cup sugar, 1 half teaspoon vanilla, 1 egg, and 3 8 pound of chocolate chips. Sugar cookies, 3 4 cup butter, 2 cups sugar, 3 8 teaspoon baking soda, 1.5 large egg, 3 4 teaspoon vanilla, and 2 and 1 4 cups all-purpose flour. Each recipe serves 30 people. The next thing to do is to summarize the three recipe cards. We have to summarize the three recipe cards to total up all the ingredients needed. I will create new recipe cards to find the total amount of each ingredient needed. So the first ingredient is flour. We add all the flour from the three recipes. From banana bread recipe, we have 4 and 1 half cups of flour, followed by 1 and 1 fourth cups of flour from chocolate chips cookies recipe. And the next one is 2 and 1 fourth cups of flour from sugar cookies recipe. Now let's add the fractions. But before we add the fractions, let's change the mixed fractions into an improper fraction. Now we changed it into an improper fraction. Let's find their common denominator. So the common denominator of 2 and 4 is 4. Now let's figure out what the numerator is. So let's start with 9 over 2. So what do you multiply by 2 to get the answer 4? That's correct. The answer is 2. So we are just going to do the same thing at the top. So 9 over 2 is equals to 18 over 4. Now let's move on to 9 over 4. So what we do to get 4 is just multiply it by 1. So we are just going to copy 9 over 4. Now let's move on with 5 over 4. So in this fraction, what you are going to do to get 4 is just multiply it by 1. So Again, we are just going to copy the fraction. So now, we are just going to add these fractions. So 18 over 4 plus 9 over 4 plus 5 over 4 is equals to 32 over 4. So since it's an improper fraction, let's divide 32 by 4. So the answer is 8. The next ingredient is sugar. From banana bread recipe, we have 2 cups of sugar, followed by 3 8 cups of sugar from chocolate chip cookies recipe. And the next one is 2 cups of sugar from sugar cookies recipe. So now we are going to add 2 plus 3 over 8 plus 2. So first, we are going to add the whole numbers. 2 plus 2 is equals to 4. So the whole number is 4 and we're just going to copy 3, 8. So the answer is 4 and 3, 8. The next ingredient is butter. From banana bread recipe, we have 1 cup of butter. Followed by 1 half cup of butter from chocolate chip cookies recipe. And the next one is 3 fourth cup of butter from sugar cookies recipe. So 
now we are going to add 1 plus 1 half plus 3 fourth. Let's first add the fractions. 1 half plus 3 fourth. Let's find the least common denominator. The least common denominator is 4. So first we are going to figure out what are we going to multiply by 2 to get 4. That's correct. 2. So we are going to multiply by 2 and we are going to do the same thing at the top. Now let's go with 3 fourths. So this one is easy because what you're going to multiply by 4 to get 4 is 1. So we are just going to copy 3 fourths. So 2 fourths plus 3 fourths is equals to 5 fourths. Because it's a improper fraction, we are going to divide it. So the answer is 1 remainder 1. And 1 and 1 fourth is the fraction form. So now we are going to add the remaining whole number. So the answer is 2 and 1 fourth. The next ingredient is vanilla. From banana bread recipe, we have 2 and 1 fourth teaspoons of vanilla followed by 1 half teaspoons of vanilla from chocolate chips cookies recipe. And the next one is 3 4 teaspoon of vanilla from sugar cookies recipe. Now let's add 2 and 1 fourth plus 1 half plus 3 fourth. Let's find the least common denominator. The least common denominator is 4. Now let's start with 2 and 1 fourth, but let's set aside the 2. So what do you multiply 4 to get 4? Let's correct 1. So we are just going to copy 1 fourth. Now let's go with 1 half. What do you multiply 2 to get 4? Let's correct 2. So we are going to do the same with the numerator. Now let's go with 3 fourth. So what do you multiply to 4 to get 4? Easy, 1. So we are just going to copy 3 fourth. Now let's add 1 fourth plus 2 fourth plus 3 fourth but set 2 aside. So the answer is 6 fourth. Since 6 fourth is an improper fraction, we are going to divide it. 6 divided by 4 is equals to 1 remainder 2. So it's 1 and 2 fourth. Now we are going to add it with the whole number of 1 fourth. So the answer is 3 and 2 fourths. We can still simplify the answer. So the final answer is 3 and 1 half. The next ingredient is baking soda. From banana bread recipe, we have 1 and 1 half teaspoon of baking soda, followed by 1 half teaspoons of baking soda from chocolate chip cookies recipe. And the next one is 3 a teaspoon of baking soda from sugar cookies recipe. Now, let's add 1 and 1 half plus 1 half plus 3 eight. Let's move aside the whole number 1. Now, let's find the least common denominator. So, the least common denominator is 8. So, let's start with 1 half. What do we multiply by 2 to get 8? That's correct, 4. So, we are going to do the same thing at the top. And we're going to do the same thing with the other 1 half. So, now we are going to do the 3 8. So, what do we multiply 8 to get the answer 8? Of course, 1. So, we are just going to copy 3 8. So, 4 8 plus 4 8 plus 3 8 is equal to 11 8. Since it's an improper fraction, we are going to divide it. So, 11 divided by 8 is equal to 1 remainder 3. So that is 1 and 3, 8. So now we are going to add 1 and 3, 8 by the whole number of 4, 8 which is 1. And the answer is 2 and 3, 8. The next ingredient is eggs. From banana bread recipe, we need 3 eggs. Followed 1 egg from chocolate chip cookies recipe. And the next one is another 1.5 egg from sugar cookies recipe. 
So, 3 plus 1 plus 1.5 is equals to 5.5. So, the answer is 5.5. The next ingredient is salt. We only need 3 8 teaspoon of salt for chocolate chip cookies. The next ingredient is chocolate chips. We only need 3 8 pound of chocolate chips for chocolate chips recipe. So the last ingredient is banana. We only need 9 bananas for banana bread recipe. Now, let's move on to our budget proposal with the estimated cost of these ingredients based on actual prices in the market. Now, we have here the estimated cost. The estimated cost for flour is 101 pesos per kilo. The estimated cost for sugar is 60 pesos per kilo. The estimated cost for butter is 135.75 pesos per kilo. 225 gram. The estimated cost for vanilla is 35 pesos per 60 ml. The estimated cost for baking soda is 41.75 pesos per 100 gram. The estimated cost for eggs is 42 pesos per half dozen. The estimated cost for salt is 25.25 pesos per 140 gram. The estimated cost for chocolate chips is 41.75 pesos per 130 grams. And lastly, the estimated cost for bananas is 900 pesos per kilogram. Total amount needed for flour is 8 cups. How to convert 8 cups of flour to kilogram? By simply divide the flour by the conversion ratio. 1 kilogram of flour is equal to 8 cups. So use this simple formula to convert. 8 cups equals 8 divided by 8 equals 1 kilogram. Next is sugar. How to convert cups of sugar to kilograms? To convert a cup measurement to a kilogram measurement, divide the sugar by the conversion ratio. 1 kilogram of sugar is equals to 5 cups. So use the simple formula to convert. Kilograms equals cups divided by 5. The sugar in kilograms is equals to the cups divided by 5. For example, here's how to convert 5 cups to kilograms using the formula below. 4 and 3 8 cups equals 4.375 divided by 5 equals 0 0.875 kilograms. Next is butter. To convert cups of butter to grams, 1 cup of butter is equals to 227 grams. So we need 2 and 1 fourth cups of butter to convert 2 and 1 fourth cups of butter to grams. 2.25 cups times 227 equals 510.75 grams. Next is vanilla. To convert teaspoon of vanilla to ml is 1 teaspoon is equals to 5 ml. So to convert 3 and 1 half teaspoon of vanilla to ml, simply multiply 3 and 1 half teaspoon of vanilla by 5 ml. So the answer is 17.50 ml. Next is baking soda. 1 teaspoon of baking soda is equals to 4.80 grams. So the conversion to get the grams is multiply 2 and 3 a teaspoon of baking soda by 4.80 grams. So the answer is 11.40 grams. Next is eggs. We have 5.5 eggs. We round to 6 pieces. So the answer is 6 pieces. Next is salt. To convert a teaspoon measurement to a gram measurement, multiply the salt volume by the conversion ratio. 1 teaspoon of salt is equals to 5.69 grams. So use this simple formula to convert. Grams equal teaspoons times 5.69. The salt volume in grams is equals to the teaspoons multiplied by 5.69. Here's how to convert 3 a teaspoon to gram using the formula. 3 a teaspoon times 5.69 equals 2.133 grams. 
How to convert pounds to grams? 1 pound is equals to 453.59237 grams. Convert 38 pound to grams. 38 times 453.59237 grams is equals to 170.10. Conversion of banana. 1 kg is approximately 9 bananas. So the answer is 9 bananas. We have now the final budget proposal with the estimated cost of the ingredients. Let's begin with flour. We have total estimated cost for flour of 101 pesos. Next is sugar, 60 pesos. Butter, 407.25 pesos. Vanilla, 35 pesos. Baking soda, 41.75 pesos. Eggs, 42 pesos. Salt, 25.25 pesos. Chocolate chips, 83.50 pesos. And the last one is bananas, 90 pesos. And the total estimated cost for all the ingredient is 885.75 pesos. That's all for today. Hope you learned something new. Goodbye!